Eating raw meat is dangerous. Doing so will make you sick, so be sure to cook it properly. Ah. <sighs> 
dust on repair, you most likely won't come out of it alive. Be sure to steer clear of it for now.
hydrated will affect your physical abilities. from memory board. I will analyze it. Return to base camp.
the data. Please synchronize your iDroid with me here. Partial memory restoration complete. I've also reassembled fragmented data. With this data recovery, you can now use the skill trainer. By using the power of Kuban energy to strengthen your body, you can learn special abilities called skills. They're all beneficial to you, so try to learn as many as you can.
from memory board. I will analyze it. Return to base. your iDroid with me here.
With this memory board data, another phase of my memory restoration is complete. You can now craft an air tank. I detect a memory board within the dust. Begin your search. You've prepared an air tank. You can now enter the dust. Having crafted an air tank, you can now operate within the dust. However, the tank is only so big. If the oxygen in it runs out, your life will begin to drop. If you're low on oxygen, you can use Kuban energy to replenish it. You can take advantage of this feature from your iDroid.
entered the dust. It really is like a sea of dust in there, given how thick it is. The visibility isn't good, but try to remain calm as you go about your search. Your oxygen will decrease while you're in the dust. Always keep an eye on your oxygen gauge. One other important point. While in the dust, your stamina consumption is greater than normal, so be careful of that as well. Investigation Day 3. The purpose of this voice log is to serve as a record of my activities here, separate from my official reports to Warden Cliff Section HQ. I find this place to be much like our own world, except... There are two ways to open a container. It's known as detail. You can spend time carefully opening it so you don't alert nearby enemies. Or you can open it quickly, though any enemies that are within earshot will hear you. In other words, you can unlock it, or you can destroy it. We'll leave that decision to you, Captain. And the member of the Caron Force, which was formed to investigate this world. For those of you that slept through your college-lit class, Caron is also taken from Dante's seminal work. He's the ferryman who carries departed souls across the river to the afterlife. It was good luck to him the person. Good luck with always the family on these parts, but I never cared for such flights of fancy. Although I respect him immensely, I don't understand his interest in such unscientific pursuits. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. My role in the Corps is focused on research, but I have also been given authority for this particular investigation. 
I guess you could say I'm something of this squad leader. My father invested heavily in this project, which played no small part in my assignment, for sure. But we need not get into that. Even though I'm technically the leader, the base camp facility is actually managed by Virgil AT9, an artificial intelligence developed by Good Luck himself. Apparently, she is responsible for communications, data analysis, and facility operations. She uses the instruments we carry on us to manage the data we gather in regard to our experiments, as well as the collection of the Kuban energy necessary for controlling the wormhole. To be honest, the last programming is nothing short of revolutionary. And that is putting it mildly. It's almost as if his mind alone is centuries ahead of us. Perhaps the most interesting thing is that Virgil's responses to our queries are strangely human-like. She speaks in a solemn tone and has a tendency to be rather rigid at times. But she also possesses a keen sense of humor that I never had. It boggles the mind to think how many people were used as reference points to develop her personality and character. At any rate, I should be able to work towards my objective starting tomorrow. I am here to research wormhole-related technology, as well as investigate the Wanderer's ecology. One of the main objectives of my research is to find a way for us to manually control these wormholes. There is a material in this world known as Kuban energy, which we believe is essential to controlling wormholes. As such, we must harvest as much of it as possible. If we can eventually perfect this technology, we will be able to instantly transport objects anywhere on the planet. Indeed, we may finally be able to realize the world system that Nikola Tesla proposed so long ago. However, the technology is incomplete, and opinions as to its viability vary widely within our section. I understand Good Luck's belief that we should proceed with caution, but as a scientist, it's impossible for me to ignore the new possibilities that will be open to us. I managed to overcome Good Luck's personal objections and be assigned to the team in order to continue my work. You are work clear of the dust. The edge of the field. Since you are no longer in I it, you are no longer on oxygen. Would never be able to catch up with you today. And don't worry, it is my your oxygen to be supply will be replenished automatically to when you return to base camp. your iDroid with me here. Captain, there is one item to report. Regarding the latest recovery... Hang on a minute, you mind? There's something I've been thinking about. The body of that Charon Corps member. 
The one you got the damaged air tank from. He'd been shot. Needless to say, we haven't seen any wanderers with guns. Meaning, he had to have been killed by a person. Right? What's that? That is unclear. All we can say is that if people are killing each other here... My point is, these incidents don't make sense. If my theory is correct... Ah, uh, forget it. Sorry for butting in. Continue with what you were gonna say. Getting back to the report, Captain. The data you recovered revealed the location of a wormhole transporter. Wormhole transporters are devices utilizing wormhole technology, which enable instant transportation between two distant points. Two points? So we can use this thing to get home? Unfortunately, the wormhole we can generate with this device is structurally different from the one needed to return home. Therefore, it can only be used for transporting matter within this world. Nevertheless, this device should allow us to explore a much greater area than before, while maintaining base camp as our base of operations. Currently, all devices are offline. To use them, you'll need to access them directly and restart their systems. Despite the potential danger, we should bring these devices back online in order to increase our area of operations. Wormhole transporters allow you to travel a great distance in the blink of an eye. To facilitate future exploration, I suggest you reactivate this one. I took the liberty of marking its predicted location on the map. Open your iDroid to see where this is. Thank you. 